Why did Bruno Mars play the halftime show? Well, I gave it a little bit of thought. If you've been keeping up lately with the pop industry right now, there aren't the many choices of performers, I guess, that are appropriate enough to play at the Super Bowl. And although I'm not a fan of Bruno Mars, I'd have to say that um, as a musician or performer in person, he's not like a sleazy kind of guy or anything. He's probably never done anything weird or like bad that's been in the media. So I figured that, you know, he's always a very um, appropriate and, you know, kind of conservative performer. He's all about the, I mean, I'm not a, that much a fan of him, but, um, but basically um, he is a, you know, he focuses on the singing and the dancing and putting on the, you know, an entertaining, fun, like clean performance. That's just his thing. So um, I figured that whoever made that decision of him playing at the halftime was like, well, Justin Bieber is either deported or on the verge of being deported back to Canada for doing some really uh, bad things that his fans should not be exposed to, most of them, because they're probably really young. And, um, you know, right now it's not a good idea. If I mean, I don't think it ever was a good idea, but right now it's not good. And then we have Miley Cyrus, who is also pretty scandalous and not the kind of role model for your children. So, and everyone else that's around right now has already played. That's big enough to play the halftime show right now, I guess. Like, because they're not going to pick a modern rock band. I don't think they ever did. Like, I know the last time I remember watching the Super Bowl, Madonna performed. And Madonna is, like, I mean, a very well-renowned singer, pop, you know, like the queen of pop. So, I mean, that's why they let her play. But, I don't know, again, with Bruno Mars, I just feel like, even though I don't really like him, or I only like maybe one or two of his songs, but, I mean, he probably would be a good idea to have... And I feel like for him and his, his band, it's a great honor. And you could tell by their performance that each, especially one trombonist in particular, who really seemed to genuinely be having a great time. And uh, he just had this big grin on his face. I could see his pearly whites. It was so cute. And, um, you know, like they really danced and put on a great show for the audience. And I got really excited to see how close some of the audience members were who were right in front of the stage. And I'm like, that's so cool. I'm just like standing there watching it, like kind of dancing along even though I can't dance. And um, for a little bit during, you know, periods of the performance. And I mean, I'm not a fan of his lyrics or anything, or like some of the parts of the song, it's a little too old school for me. But he does have a different sound from what's really popular nowadays. He has more of an old, like, I feel like I'm watching a doo performance, you know, something from Motown. That's more of his style, which is interesting because of his age and, like, you know, this is 2014 now. Um, it's very different, so I give him pre credit for that. But, um, I mean, why didn't Taylor Swift play? I mean, I don't really care for her either, <laughs> but I don't know. I can't believe they chose Bruno Mars over Taylor Swift. Uh, Kesha, no. Lord, probably not a good idea. Um, who else is popular right now? <laughs> well, Britney already performed. Um, I mean, who else really? Beyonce already did too. So, I mean, like, what's left? I'm pretty sure Beyonce performed. I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> but, um, that's just what I think about Bruno Mars and the halftime show.